Right, hi. Uh, you might have noticed on my blog recently that I've been making a lot of buttons and things. Well, what I'm doing, this is them. Making button cloths. I'm going to put them in my shop. If they don't sell, it's fine. I always say that, but it's true. Maybe a little Christmas present for somebody you know who likes stitching. But what, I, what the purpose of this video is for is in case you buy one to explain a couple of things to you. Now, each of these things can be separated uh, can be attached to your work, okay, your own work, and they can be taken off here. They're literally just tied onto here, okay, at the back. So all you need to do is pull these two little ties and snip them off, and the thing will come off the front. The the piece that you want to take off will come off the front. Now, obviously, buttons have a shank. You attach them um, with the shank to whatever you want to attach them to. These little toggles that I've made. They've all got a little buttonhole loop on the back. Um, let me just get a needle to put through there so you can see it. They've all got a little buttonhole loop on the back where you can use that to attach that to your work as well. All right. So that would attach like that. Now the other things, the puffs, these are padded puffs, okay. And these are flat suffolk puffs with embroidery on. How you would attach these to your work is, obviously I've left these on to tie them to these bits of cloth. But they, when you snip that off, they will no longer be there. But how you would attach that to your cloth is very simple. You just get a piece of thread, whatever thread you want. And I tie most things like this to cloth. Don't necessarily stitch them to cloth, I tie them on. And depending on what it's going to be used for, you know, they're not going to come off, if it, especially if it's on a decorative piece. Um, so for the flat ones, imagine they're not there. Come up through the back and come up through the hole. There's always a hole where you've drawn all this up. Okay, there, okay. And then go down inside again and through again. But not down the same hole. Okay, and then that gives you your ties on the back that have gone through the center. You can't see them on the front and they're there at the back to use to tie to your work, all right? And exactly the same applies to the padded puffs. So what I would do with these, because they're stitched, I wouldn't come up here and go down because that would place a stitch on the front. What I would do is go through the back again and then come up in amongst the stitching, okay? In amongst the French knots and then go down, take a tiny little stitch and go down again through the French knots and come out of the back like that. And there are your ties there to tie that to your work and you can't see it at the front, okay? So I just wanted to make that little video just to explain. If you're rubbing and ironing about buying one and thinking, oh, well, how am I gonna get that attached to my work? That is how you would do it. Okay, and each one, I'm going to put another puff on this one. So each one has got two padded puffs, two Suffolk puffs, two handmade toggles and one handmade button. Now, these toggles, the edges of them, forget that other one, the edges of them are covered with buttonhole lace, okay? Um, they just take a long time to make, you know, they're very, they are time consuming, but they're worth it because I just adore them. They're so pretty and they're so unique, okay. Um, so that's what's going to be on each one. So two, four, six, seven, seven little fastenings on one piece of cloth. And these are metal buttons, they're, they're good, strong, good quality metal buttons, okay. So that's my sales pitch for the day. And they are really lovely. There's more here. That one. And if you do buy one, I can't really specify which one you'll get because it's hard to differentiate between them. So it will be a, a like a lucky dip. But having said that, I'd be happy with any of them. I think they're all lovely. One, two, three, four. I thought I had another one. But I can't find it anywhere. So, but there. So that's how they are. That, and they're all on. I pin took some broderie anglaise for the surface, so they're all attached to some pin took broderie anglaise. I just love them. I mean, I if nobody bought one, 
that would be no hardship for me to keep these because I just even since I finished putting these together I keep picking them up and looking at them and playing with them. Okay.